Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. Peter and Melissa Copenhaver are here from uh, Sunta Integrative Health, and we are talking about mental health access, and we'll talk about checking in with ourselves in just a moment. But I wanted to ask first about the availability. I mean, I commend you for what you've done over four years. You've added a lot of resources to our communities, but if someone were to call or, or Ref, um, good on your website and ask what's the wait list time like for different services you provide? It, it kind of depends on what they're looking for. Um, so we have therapists that specialize in pediatric mental health, we have therapists that specialize in infant and early childhood mental health in addition to those that work um, with clients who are experiencing grief. We have a therapist that does focuses on the needs of the LGBTQ community. We also have an individual that works on perinatal um, and uh, postpartum health. So it really depends on what they're looking for. So we, when someone comes in and submits something through our website or calls the office, we take some information and try to see who's going to be the best match for them um, and get things set up. So the wait time does kind of vary depending on um, who's going to be the best match. But we can usually see clients. Um, we Right now we have some clients we're getting in in the next week or two. Other clients will be a little bit longer to, to get them established. But we, we are working and um, working with um, Saginaw Valley State University. Um, they have a grant through the federal government to help provide a monetary incentive for family nurse practitioners who are interested in getting their Psych NP post master's certificate. Um, so we are being a, we are a clinical site for them um, as a way of trying to increase our access to mental health services across the UP. The research shows that when you have Psych NPs in rural areas, the outcomes are better for mental health for for patients. So then for, for patients, do you accept insurance or is that something that patients pay for out of pocket for services? Both. We offer both. Um, there should be no barrier to mm -hmm. receiving you know services and so we, we do out of pocket and we do uh, a number of Yeah, the majority uh, of the major insurances we yeah. do, with, um, we are able to bill. Yep. And uh, I, I, people can seek out a therapy service, whether it's for specific trauma, for anxiety, for stress, for social situations, but also even if you're doing perfectly fine, it might just be a good way to, to check in, to get some preventative care. I mean, who, who's, mm -hmm. a, who's a good candidate for a, a therapy service? Say someone had a recent loss in their life, mm -hmm. like a loved one or something like that. That's a moment in their life they need help, and, um, and you you certainly can see a therapist for that. I see a therapist. Um, it's like having a family doctor or a dentist. I mean, it's just preventative care. And it's just an area of my life I'm kind of having some trouble with. Maybe someone could help me and kind of get past it. And so that's how it works. So at, at what point would you reflect and say, I need to see a therapist. I need to make an appointment. Are there any, mm. I don't know symptoms or behaviors that might indicate you could you could use some help from somebody. I, you know, there's a wide range, but a lot of it is looking at our behaviors different than what someone might have typically engaged in. So, are they having a more difficult time sleeping? Are they sleeping more? Are they eating less or eating more? Um, are they isolating? Um, and or are they having a hard time just getting through their normal um, daily activities? So, you know, anytime that we see someone that is. Like a, there's a change in their behavior, that's always a good time to check in. What's the best way to check in with yourself? Oh my goodness. Uh, one good way to kind of check in with yourself is just uh, realizing uh, whether you're keyed up, mm -hmm. like your heart rate, respirations, are you responding to something going on, you know, are you a little bit elevated? Um, just those sort of sensations. Um, so pay, paying attention to your physical body functions. There's no one who's going to know you better than yourself. I mean, you're the subject matter expert when it comes to Tia. That's so, so true. I know. mean, I one thing that I will ne ne probably never forget, I was 17 years old. I actually went and I saw a doctor and I was explaining how I'm feeling feelings of anxiety, depression. You know what she told me? And this is bad. She said, I think you're just a teenager. And to me, that was... Completely unvalidating. Yeah, crushing. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And so, like having having conversations and like supporting people, I think that yeah. can like have a huge difference because ever since then, I never saw somebody. Absolutely, mm -hmm. validation is huge. Like I said, you know yourself best, mm -hmm. and sometimes we just need to be validated. Someone to talk to, someone to just kind of maybe you know this talk therapy, this exchange of ideas, you know, can make all the difference. Yeah. What about little t techniques like breathing techniques or counting? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like for instance, something happens in our day, like we have an argument at work mm -hmm. or something, so we're keyed up for the rest of the day, you know, our respirations increase, breathing, heart rate, you know, simple breathing, exhaling, 
Uh, we all notice when we get frustrated, we kind of sigh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's our body's natural way of like in engaging our vagus nerve, which is this big complicated nerve that runs from our brain down to our chest and our, all of our internal organs. When we breathe out, it then gauges that, that vagus nerve and lowers our respirations, lowers our heart rate, kind of gets us back mm -hmm. in the pocket of being kind of like more kind of stabilized again. And well, there's, oh, research, um, there's research that has demonstrated that that exhale, that long exhale actually reduces blood pressure equivalently to some blood pressure medications. Yeah. Well, I think we should all just take three minutes to breathe. I encourage you to <laughs> breathe during this commercial break. And when we come back, we will run through the details of how, how you can uh, learn more information about SUNTA and get involved in their practice.